All right, I have had this uh, High Sierra Tool Mammoth uh, long enough to kind of give it a uh, review of sorts of how I used it. Um, this was designed by my friend Jesse, made by Chris Evers of High Sierra Tool. Uh, AEBL steel, I believe it's like 6364 HRC, which is a little higher, I believe, than I see it most of the time, but excellent fixed blade. Uh, at first, when I saw it, I do love the color scheme, but that's not a big deal for me. But the biggest thing for me personally, this is from my perspective, is the ergonomics and how it feels when you're actually cutting. And at first, I thought the handles, even though they look good, would be a little blocky, like, but they're not... They're chamfered very nicely as far as the edges go. It does look a little blocky. Um, I'm used to like more rounded um, fixed blades, but when I put it in my hand, I, I don't feel it, if that makes sense. Like I don't feel any hot spots. Um, at worst, right here, when I'm pressing down with my index finger, if I'm cutting that way, it feels good. But everything's just, you know, right in the middle as far as uh, grip, the, you know, the, the grip on the thumbs nice as far as the you know being able to push down um, I don't have any issues hammer gripping it like this feels really good um, I got it and it was I don't know how used it was when I first got it but it was cutting fine it uh, performed as I expected I didn't do any hard use stuff because it is not my knife I was I doubt it would break but I'm not gonna be putting it through any torture tests but it cut wood fine uh, cut lots of strap fine it did go dull at the area that I was cutting pallet straps I was doing a lot of it um, but it held up as I thought AEBO would. It's not like a high vanadium, high carbide tool steel like K390, 15B, etc. Something crazy. But the thing I noticed so as soon as I got it, it wasn't as sharp as I wanted it out the box when I got received it in the mail. I just dropped it with four microns, dropping stuff just freehand, like four passes, five passes, and it brought the edge back and it was good to go. I did that for the rest of the week, just a little bit of stropping, just to kind of keep the edge until it got to a point where I needed a fresh sharpening. That's where. I sharpened it today. Uh, I set it at 20 degrees, which is pretty close to what it was before without changing the, the bevels or anything. So 15 degrees per side on both, roughly 500 grit, nice toothy aggressive edge without being too polished. Although AEBL doesn't do too polished, uh, doesn't polish up too badly, but I'm using the front camera, so it's not gonna show the details very well, but I will have some some clips of me cutting with it. But man, it, um, the way you've got a nice flat it's almost a bit a bit of a recurve right here and then you've got a nice belly to the tip there uh it stayed in my cut pretty easily um i was super thrilled to have it and i think that they took orders for the production ones of these for like 250. uh that's a fantastic deal especially for a us made knife from a really awesome dude designed by a really awesome uh, guy as well um but i'm very impressed with the edge um it deburred pretty easily meaning the felt like the heat treatment and stuff was on point where it wasn't like clinging onto the burr as i was uh, getting the edges apexed um broke off cleanly i didn't feel any weirdness on there and it's got this nice sticky sticky edge to it and I'll, i'm able to whittle hair fine it's cutting the uh, rolling paper pretty good um just i just got a piece of paper here just to kind of show the consistency yeah, all the way from heel to the tip, clean cutting, no catches, uh, super easy to sharpen. It's got a bit of an upswept uh, at the tip, but that wasn't an issue. Still kept that tip nice and sharp. It was a dream to have. And another great thing, I don't know how he's going to do it with the, 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 the 250 models, but the sheath, it's like leather interior with like a, a harder, maybe Kydex, I don't know. Uh, with the uh, tech lock in the back and the way he, when I talked to Chris on the phone I explained this before he has it set to be carried like this with the handle down so basically it'll be on your strong side like this and when you need it you just grip it right here and pull and you have it in a reverse grip um, I think that's awesome it one thing I noticed when I, I didn't have to lift up my shirt and pull it up was I didn't have to pull my shirt up I just grabbed it on my waist and just pulled down and it was ready to go if I had to flip it over for regular cutting that's fine it takes a bit of a uh, no time at all um, and another cool feature with this specific sheath here it's got a locking system the retention is fine with this unlock all the way but if you slide this to the bottom it, it brings that retention a little tighter so it's not going to accidentally fall out I did have it fall out once with it loose but that was because I didn't have it in all the way um, but 
yeah, it, it concealed fine. My shirts went right to here. You can see a bit of it, but it wasn't an issue. No one noticed me carrying it at work. Uh, I mean, I carry a bunch of stuff at work anyway. But uh, I don't know what else to go over. If you guys have any specific questions, let me know. But definitely check out High Sierra Tool. Uh, Chris over in Arizona <laughs> does some really great work. I was not familiar with his stuff at all, but him and Jesse are friends. And this was designed by Jesse, apparently, and he knocked it out the park. I mean, I know nothing about knife design, but this is awesome. I mean, it's well-balanced, looks great. The uh, jimping's just about right, where it's not too aggressive, but not so smooth, it's not gonna do anything for you. Uh, and you got a great cutting edge, it's a great size just for everything, EDC, daily, outdoors, great blade shape for pretty much any task, skinning, cutting, cooking, you, what have you, nice belly, nice flat, nice tip for detailed work. I mean, it's got it all covered. It's a very awesome do-it-all knife. I hope the audio is coming through fine. I'm not great at editing this stuff, but I'll um, leave it at that. But uh, just to summarize, feels good in hand. Feels like nothing in hand, which is a good thing for me. Reverse grip if you're a ninja. Feels awesome, and this is how you probably deploy it as well when you pull it out the sheath. Um, sheath is awesome with it. The steel itself, uh, I haven't handled like, I use spider coat because they have so many knives and different steels and they do a lot of production stuff. I use them as a benchmark because they're just easy to uh, at least obtain. Um, I haven't tried their AEBO. I've tried a couple other fixed blades and they were okay, but I really feel like this one took a super sharper edge and you know, it, it the edge itself held up just like I thought, you know, an AEBL steel would. You know, it's like 14C. Um, it's very strong. I mean, it's just a well-balanced, it's not gonna, you know, rust on you. It's got an awesome acid finish on there, which doesn't show anywhere at all. And, oh yeah, super stoked to have this, um, for as long as I did. And I really hope the original owner, Jesse, uh, likes the edge. He's gotta let me know what he thinks about it because it's damn sharp. But yeah, you guys saw how... I mean, it was okay when I got it, and but I'm sure it was used. Now it's got a fresh edge to try other than me fucking with it. But uh, let me see what you guys think. Definitely give a uh, High Sierra Tool uh, Chris over there a follow if you guys can find him. He's on Instagram and Facebook. And I do appreciate him and Jesse uh, letting me hold this and talking to me and kind of going over how like all that stuff goes. But all right, y'all be good.